put down. Um, this is a Q and A session, and I had two questions from two people in the group. The first person said that I should break down gold for him, and the second person said that I should show him my stop loss placement and my entry model. You should be seeing the picture in the screen right now. Two questions. So I'm going to be answering those two people right now in this video. So first of all, starting with the breakdown of gold. What I see right now, gold is pretty simple. Gold is um is in a downtrend, and as it's in a downtrend, you should not be looking for buys, you're looking for sales because price is just clearly making lows and respecting highs. So sales is valid. And in terms of uh, how I'm looking to trade gold right now, well um yesterday we saw this move happen where gold where price kind of made this low and uh we saw price kind of make this low and uh just like the way i trade uh indication right i trade indication this is the indication right and then price corrects itself right this indication basically means that price is telling me hey under this level so i can go this low right so this is the indication of price telling me hey under this levels i can go this low right so now price has corrected itself now if i want to enter the market once price starts to break below this level again this is where i will look to be in the market and take price all the way down here because price has, has really shown me that hey under these levels i can go this low so that's what I'm basically expecting to do on gold right now. So it's the same thing here. This is the this is price giving you an indication saying hey under these levels I can go this low. Hey, under this level I can go this low. Price came back up, respected these highs. So what I'm looking to do is that tomorrow during NY session and price gets under these levels again. I'm going to take the sell and take it all the way down here so that is basically all i'm looking to do on gold right now uh so to make it more clear all i'm looking for for to seeing on gold is i'm looking forward to seeing price below these levels on gold so i'm looking forward to seeing price below these levels on gold during new york session if this happens during London session, I'm not going to be in the trade. I only trade during New York session. I'm, I'm only going to be looking for a setup during that session. So once price is under this level during NY session, I'll look to take a sell. Look to take a sell. Uh, a sell that can take price for me down to this level, back to this area. So that's how I'm looking to trade gold. And that's my breakdown for gold. Um, overall, it's in a downtrend, and I think that you should be looking for sales in general, right? So, for the second question, the person that asked that I should please show my, uh, I should show my entry model on my stop loss placement, right? Now I'm going to explain that with this gold, right? So, in terms of my entry model on stop loss, I just explained my entry model. I will explain it again for you so you, you understand what I'm saying. Now this, um, I will explain it here. Now this is a level, right? This is a level. Now this is how I trade. I wait for price to give me this level. But what the level basically means is that buyers are in control at this level, right? So all I'm waiting for is for price to give me an indication of where it wants to go. So once I see price break below here, I already know that hey, price is telling me hey, below this level, I can go this low, right? So all I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for price to give me a correction. Once price gives me a correction back above this level, then I'll be looking to take a sell under these levels, because I already know, because price has already shown me that hey, under these levels, I can go this low. Under these levels, I can go this, like a fight. The price has already shown me that hey, on these levels, buyers are in control of the market and they have they have the power to push price up. But under these levels, sellers are fully in control of the market and they can push price all the way down here. So all I'm looking forward to is once price gets below here, I'm looking to take a sell and take price all 
all the way down here that's how I basically trade my strategy is called um it's called ICC which basically means which stands for indication correction and continuation right this is what my strategy basically means ICC which stands for indication correction and continuation right yeah so that's for indication correction and continuation right and in my strategy you do not trade the indication you don't trade the correction what you trade is the continuation let me make that clear with these two uh, okay okay uh. Okay, so hopefully this makes it clear. I want, you to get, I want you guys to always remember that you do not trade the indication, you do not trade the correction. What you trade is the oh, what the fuck is this? You don't trade the indication. okay uh, okay so I want you guys always remember that you don't trade the indication you don't trade the correction what you trade is the continuation right this this is indication of price telling you hey under these levels I can go this low right you don't trade the indication now this is the correction just because you know that price is going to buy doesn't mean you must be in the buy so you don't trade the correction because correction is just price basically going back up to take liquidity and then starting to come back down to where it's supposed to go so this is the correction right what you trade is the continuation and the continuation is only valid under these levels because under these levels price is telling you that hey under this level i can go this low so that means that under this level is a continuation of this drop here right and that is exactly what is happening right now on gold if you look at gold right now that is exactly what is happening right now on gold price gave you hey gave you and it gave you this level here came up and then took out these levels saying you hey under this level i can go this low hey under this level i can go this low right that you know price is going to buy doesn't mean you must be in this buy all you just need to know is that price has told you hey under this level i can go this low and if you are the kind of person that always trades anything you see because you know price can buy now you want to be in every move you have taken this buy here and have been taken out you will have been stopped out eventually and then price ends up buying too but this is the indication of price telling you hey under this level i can go this low now this is the correction price has corrected itself now all you're waiting for is you're waiting for session to come which is your session to come once the NY session is open because gold is a US pair and it moves very well during the New York session so once the session is open and you see price under these levels then you are looking to take a sell and take price all the way down here right in terms of my entry model and my stop loss this is basically just the entry model this is how i enter a trade in terms of my stop loss i always allow price to give me an to give me a a my stock a structure i always like to place my stop loss on a structure in this scenario now if i was if this trade was to drop down and then b 
be here and then i should take a trade here then my stop loss is definitely going to be at this area here because this is the last structure right usually what i like to use for my stop loss is i like to, i like to use um 500 to 1000 points right i like to use 500 to a thousand points but most times i use 500 points for nasdaq for gold 500 points should be to 1000 points or i put it above a structure if i don't see a structure or if the structure is too far away i can use 500 or 1000 points right because i'm trading in session so i'm expecting the session to pull i'm expecting this, the volume during session to push price all the way down so i'm not expecting like a massive drawdown in my trade and all that so that's why i use like 500 points or sometimes if i want to take it a bit more safe i like to go for 1000 points which is basically 100 pip stop loss so um uh, that's it and um, i hope you guys are having a great day uh looking forward to this trade on gold we also have good setups coming up on nasdaq everything is looking good right right now on nasdaq as you can see here price has already also given an indication here on nasdaq saying hey under these levels i can go this low so all i'm waiting for is price to correct itself and then start to come back down for me to be in the trade right same thing for us 30 setting up nicely price already gave the indication and now all i'm waiting for is for price to correct itself after the correction i'm looking to get into the trade during the continuation of the price so it all, all depends on how everything plays out on it depends on how everything plays out and how i can be able to take advantage of the move anyways hope you guys enjoy yourself on have a good night thank you